Lance Armstrong. Oh, oh my God, Lance Armstrong taking it. Oh, 2003 Ulrich Mayo Armstrong, Chris Froome versus Lance Armstrong. Let's see. We're going to talk. We're just going to talk about cadence here. We're going to talk about cadence. We're going to talk about the philosophy of cadence. Chris Froome is now the new Lance Armstrong in terms of domination. No one's coming close to Lance, and no one came close to Chris Froome. Oh, look, look at this, man. Lance is out the saddle. Look at Sastra. Sastra's getting dropped. Look, I mean, look, I mean now there's a greater question here. Is Lance Armstrong on a motorized e-bike? You know, there's a thing on the CBS, the 260 Minutes, saying that there's e-bikes in the Peloton Tour de France. I don't know. I don't know about that, but I know what's going on. Um, and we're talking serious level training. We're talking serious level red blood cell manipulation. Uh, both natural. Oh, oh, my God. I mean, Lance... Look at those no friends in cycling. Look at that Mayo just attacks around him. Is that Mayo or is it Bielder? Look at that. Look at Lance. Look at that attack. And he's just looking down his chain. He's still putting out 500 watts probably. And his teammates drop out there. Was that Chechi Ribeiro? We've got Basu. We've got Moreau. We've got Hamilton. Yetzu Bielder. We've got Vinakurov, the fire hydrants. And we've got Mayo. And look at Ulrich grinding. Ulrich would get smashed in today's peloton. Ulrich would not even cope. Look at Hamilton riding one hand. Slow down, guys. Let's wait for Lance. Let's do the right thing. Everyone's just like, fuck that. Let's just fucking go. So Lance has come back on. He's gone back on. He's got a new bike. Has he got a new bike? No, he doesn't. His chainstay is still cracked, man. His chainstay is still cracked at this point. And he's just understanding he's got to keep it under 800 watts. So Lance is going to keep it under 800 watts. Mayo's like, fuck it. Let's go again. There's no friends in pro cycling. Oh, they, I mean, I shouldn't say that. There is, but there's not. I mean, look at that. They're just like, fuck it, man. This is cutthroat shit. So Lance is riding a crack chain stay. This is why all the bullshit about bike technology. Oh, it's 6% stiffer. No, no, no. It doesn't fucking mean shit, man. If your hemoglobin's 200, and you're putting out 7 watts per kilo for 30 minutes, you are riding every motherfucker off your wheel. So Lance has got a crack chain stay. He's about 70, I would say he'd be about 74. Lance is about 178. So, man, as I say, in this video, at this time, Lance is probably, mm, what do you reckon? I reckon 70, I reckon 70, 78 kilos in, in here. So, he's banging, banging out some serious watts, probably close to 500 watts. You know, 450, 500 watts at least. And so what have we got? Moreau, they just, Lance is setting the pace. And it looks like Riviera. No, that's, um, check, no, that's, uh, pfft. Who, who is that? I have a bit of a mental blank here. I'm just trying to get some spot off my foot. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a mosquito bite. Anyway, sorry I digress. But, um, where's this camera work going on here? It's not just bitten my foot. I mean, where is that, guys? What the fuck was that? Anyway, fuck it. And uh, so we have. Look at Mayo. Mayo's like, alright, boys, see you later. Look at, that, look at the cadence. And Lance is like, alright, I've got a crack chain stay. I'm going to fucking launch it. I'm about 10 kilos lighter than you, heavy than you, bro, but I'm going to come past you. Look, look at that linebacker. NFL linebacker looking back. Come on, bro, hold the wheel. Hold the wheel, you soft cunt. Lance is saying, basically, hold the wheel, bro. Hold the wheel, man. Hold the mayo. <laughs> hold the wheel, mayo. We've got some vegan mayo with that. Look at Lance out the saddle. Dance like Lance. Spin to win. Now, Chris Froome would drop all these guys. In my opinion, Chris Froome is faster than all these guys. He's got better cadence. Lance's got a crack chain stay. You know, all these punters out there, oh, my bike's not stiff enough. You know, I haven't got the SSL version. No, no, mate, it doesn't matter. Watts. Wattage is what matters, bro. Look at that, Lance. He's now he's like, like a mountain bike in the saddle, out the saddle, in the saddle, out the saddle. He's just look at the face. Look at the focus, man. Just getting it done. Just getting it done. Now, things us to diet, because we know Lance Armstrong did his little high-carb vegan thing. When he was recovering from cancer, he's friends with Rip Esselstyn. I actually got the chance to ride with Lance a couple of times when he was in Adelaide, South Australia, and I brought it up. I mentioned to Lance, you know, about Rip Esselstyn, the vegan stuff. He's like, oh, yeah. And then I said, you should mention that to your cancer foundation. And straight away, he changed the subject. <laughs> he changed the subject straight away. So Lance is pretty approachable, but he definitely didn't want to talk about diet. He's just like, yeah, no worries, bro. Let's talk about something else. Um, so I left it all of that. And he, so Lance has had the crash. He's gone. That's what I love about the Lance attitude, you know. Because I use drugs, maybe fuck it. Everyone in this fucking video is on drugs, bro. You can't ride that bike that fast, man. Look at them. Look at them all, man. Look at. I mean, it's like, come on. It's, they're paid to win. If they can't win, their contract's over, man. Their contract's over. I don't think you understand professional sport. If you won't dope, you won't cope, man. At this level, at the front of the race, this is big sponsorship here, man. Do you realize how much money people pay 
to have their brands showcased to the fucking two billion people around the world. You know, this is serious shit, man. This is serious money on the table. People's heads on the line here. If you can't win, if you can't push the watts, man. Look, Tyler Hamilton got a fucking broken collarbone. Like, you know, CSC banking and all this. That people, you know, trek. Do you know how much money Trek made from Lance Armstrong? We're talking some serious mafia money here, man. Like, if you can't deliver, they fuck you off real quick. Doesn't matter if you're a nice guy. Okay, maybe we'll give you a job as a masseuse. This is all sports, man. It's not just soccer. This is soccer. Soccer's the worst, man. Tennis is probably the worst, actually. Everyone thinks tennis is clean. Look at that Barry Floors. US, you know how much that money they spend? Serious business. Anyway, but we're talking to sugar, man. Lance has just sugared the fuck up here. Look at that face. And you want to get as lean as Lance without the drugs. Then you got to look at your diet, man. you got to eat enough sugar so you can do the intensity, man. Look at that. Look at that focus. Lance is just fucking flogging it, mate. He is flogging it. That Chris from Cadence. The seat's pretty low, isn't it? The seat's relatively low. It's not fully jacked up. Maybe that's the camera angle. But, uh, and Lance is on a 58 centimeter track. Pretty sure it's 58. Look at that focus. Look at that focus, man. He's off his fucking chops, man. Lance is off his chops. His hemoglobin's probably 250. <laughs> Diluted down to maybe 165 or something. He is off his chops, man. He's just crashed. He's probably thinking any minute someone can pull a gun on him and assassinate him. Terrorist threat or something like that. You know, that's 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 the sort of mindset Lance was running on. He's just like, fuck it, if I'm gonna die from a heart attack or a bullet wound, I'm gonna die now, man. And he's put twenty seven seconds into him already. Twenty seven seconds in just a few minutes. Do you know how big that is? He faded a bit in the end, but twenty seven seconds, man. He's pushing some serious fucking watts. He's attacking it in. Broken bike. He's got a broken bike, man, but he's not got a broken spirit. Basso Ulrich, you know, that chain stays cracked and just down there with that the next to the O and Shimano, cracked that 5900 SL. Actually, it's not an SL. I think mean, that's just 5900. I think mean, was it SL? Man, I should know this shit. I was a fucking big Trek fanboy back in the day. I'd say it's a 5900 SL, um, 2003. So this model came out in 2004 in Australia, and it's actually it was a custom. That was a custom Project One colorway. He. Didn't want, didn't want to ride the Madone for this stage. He, he ditched the Madone and went the standard 110 OCLV uh, layup, 110 grams per square meter trek uh, from the full Shimano 7700 group set. Nine speed, nine speed. Looks like we've got some Detta bars, Detta stem. Look at this. Is that Chavanel? Chavanel. <laughs> He's passing Chavanel was like his little weekend rider. This is a little token gesture for the French fans. French love it. Look at that. Just two seconds. Pat on the bat. Thanks, little French boy. Don't forget your baguette. And uh, the French revered him for that. Just a simple gesture. Look at that. So they've replayed. Oh, Lance is not so bad. He put a little hand on there. Look at that. Lance is so off his face. His fucking finger almost went off his rectum. Yeah, but good on him. So doing that little gesture, even though it was pretty fake as fuck. Who knows? But. Sylvain Chavanel on the breakaway, and Lance is just riding past him like he's a weekend warrior. Chavanel's up in the ante, trying to get the wheel. Couldn't even hold the wheel. Lance is coming f through so fucking strong on a broken bike. Chavanel, who's a good pro, couldn't even hold the wheel. Not just for 10 seconds to get the sponsorship, couldn't even hold the wheel. Lance came past so fucking hard, man. That's what we're talking, next level shit here. Next level focus, next level organisation. Next level glucose derived ATP. Look at that cadence, man. Look at everyone else. Mayo again, Mayo's like, come on you fucking choppers. Come on you cunts, in the gutter, hold the fucking wheel. Hamilton's in his compact crank, broken collarbone. You know what I mean? These are, these are gun climbers, Mayo and Hamilton. Super light guys. Lance is dropping on the climb. No draft. Man, I, I was there that day in... Uh, I watched him come up the cold Aspen, and uh, it was good times, man. Watched Lance crash live on TV, and we were like, oh my god. But just the spirit. Drugs aside, man, you still have the spirit. I mean, you, you can give people the same drugs Lance had, they won't be as good. They won't be as good. They'd never have that Lance attitude. Obviously, Lance without the drugs would be nothing, but still. You know, you got to have the drugs, you got to have the, 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 the desire. you got to have the genetics, you got to have the, the, the luck. There's a lot of luck involved. I mean, he could have crashed and broke his collarbone, you know? So there's a lot of luck there. Um, how we treated people, you know, that's, a, that's another that's another video topic. But hey, you know, it's pro sport, man. It's cutthroat. Lance knew that 
if he couldn't deliver, he's he's on the chopping block as well. But yeah, it'd be good to see Chris Froome versus Lance Armstrong. Who would win? I would say Chris would fucking wipe the floor with Lance. You know, I reckon he'd wipe the floor with Lance. The wattage they're putting out these days, man, <laughs> it's next level shit, man. Yeah, but definitely Brady Wiggins. Our record, that would that would trump Lance. Lance is good, but uh, Chris Froome, Brady Wiggins, definitely they're better riders, faster. Um, and that he's motoring that cadence still going man still going I wonder what Cassetti had on there I wonder what because Louis Arden isn't that hard you know they went up I think they went up the Tourmalet first they asked me in and then they finished on the um, Louis Arden look at that cloud man it's beautiful isn't it Lance's bike so he's pretty stretched out isn't he he's pretty stretched out look at the sweat man just fucking focused eyes up the road Ulrich. look at the face man that's the Lance face, bro. That's the Lance face. <laughs> Fucking awesome, isn't it? But it's a good lesson in focus, man. He crashed, didn't yell at anyone, put yelled at me later on, but just, you know. Oh, man. Look at that. The seat looks pretty low, doesn't it? Hips. Those are the hips. Out the side, all just going for it. Man, imagine if the motorbike hit Lance. That'd be fucking crazy. It's a pretty unfortunate shit going down the motorbikes, isn't it? It's pretty crazy in the last year. People getting killed and stuff. That's what I mean, man. It's cutthroat. If you're not willing to die in a crash from a heart attack, from a fucking severed aorta, from getting hit by a fucking camera motorbike, if you're not willing to die, man, then you've got no hope at being a professional cyclist. Just licking your heads up, man. If you're not willing to die for it, just give up now. Because you've got to win to die for the fucking win, man. Slot Lance. Slot Lance. But, uh, yeah, epic shit, man. Epic shit. So, thanks for the entertainment, Lance. Thanks for all the entertainment, the, the crew, the athletes out there. It's basically what it is, man. It's entertainment. You know, it's entertainment. And you're doing your, you're paid to do your job, man. You're paid to win. You are paid to win with the crowd. They're just loving it, man. They don't care about the drugs, man. Anyone with half a brain knows it's fucking drug and juice. They want to see champions, man. It's where we live in. It's where we live in. Lance. Lance Armstrong smashing it all the way to the line. You know what I mean? He's even he's even picking the pace up even more. Perfect technique, man. Got a saddle wagon. Big unit. Big guy. He's a big boy for a climber. Just ridden all the climbers off his wheel. On a motorized bike? Nah. Just on some really good shit, man. Some real high quality Am Gen shit. Next level, Gen 4. Not even the Gen 3. Lance is on the Gen 4. Look at that face, mate. He's just going fucking hell. I'm about to die. <laughs> but I'm going to win the tour again. Fucking awesome. Gen 4, next level, and Gen shit. What's this finish line? Look at this every single second. Just bam. Look at the clock. Done. Throws his bike across the line. 35k an hour in the Alps. No worries, mate. 